Hi, this is Sandy Simpson, and I have a little Sugar Bridges journal here that I've been making for a while, and just wanted to share it with you. And I've titled this one Charming, because she is. <laughs> Boy, that was hard one. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay. Here's the front, and I do these with several layers and several um, several layers of different things to stiffen the book, and then. Um, layers of lace and this image on the front is off of the internet i'm not really sure whose i love the buttons and the thread i left it long just to give it some interest and there's all types of layers of lace here and um this let me see here Let me see here. I'm just new at this, and I know you can tell that. Here's the, um, there's a journal card here in the front cover. You can journal on the back. I'm having a time. And here's another little um, card and fairy idea. And the pieces of lace and the, little fairies and I coffee dye my paper I coffee dye lace and trim and sometimes my ephemera and I love to do the little button clusters and things that and I usually add quotes and this one says and she lived happily ever after and this is a brown envelope that's just flipped over the page and inside is a journal card. And then I decorated, as you can see, the envelope. So you can use it independent of the journal or you can leave it clipped on there. There's another page of just bunnies that we all love and fairies and here's a little bunny sitting in a teacup and she's embellished around with buttons and lace and more lace um here's another little quote little fairy and then the quote on this side is says by doing what you love you awaken the lives of others and this is by a wonderful journalist Jenny Miller, and you should check out her videos. She's an amazing journal artist, too. These are little Beatrix Potter fussy cuts, and it says, You will forever be my always. I like that. I like that. I make uh, grandmother journals, and I've done some wedding things, and um, so I use quotes a lot because they're very sentimental and I try to make them so they can withstand the next generation. Maybe the grandmothers can hand them down to the children at some point. And this is a flip page that I did. I, ha I make some big, bigger flip journals but I tried it on this little one because this this little journal these run about four and a half inches by five and a half inches I think this one's about a five by six but I like doing the flips and giving it some dimension and here's the um, here's a journaling page that's decorated and has sorry silk and and pearls and seam binding and different things I use. This is a double pocket 
and um, it's a lace pocket within uh, a pocket where the rabbits are slid behind of a piece of sheet music paper and I fold I fold the pages in such a way that sometimes I glue the corner shut and I put actual photographs that the client wants to go with the journals and here's the little guy with the little um, carolers bunnies and the bunnies with their canoe and you can see the lace there's more bunnies and a little girl that's a journal card and I stencil on the back of the journal cards here's some little small cards the that I used as a border on this coffee dyed page and then came in with lace and here's a little button cluster that I like to use a lot this quote says someday when the pages of my life end I know that you will be one of the most beautiful chapters I like that and I've used that in grandmother journals and wedding journals and here's another little one with some avocado dyed lace which I like to use also especially if it has to do with baby a baby gift or whatever dance to the light of the moon and this little card is tucked into a um, um, piece of brocade lace with pearls on it that I had and I coffee dyed. This is another one. I take a lot of different ephemera cards and I cut them out in more of an applique and use them in different ways and use different parts of the picture in different ways. And this says, once you are real, you can't be ugly. That's a quote from the Velveteen Rabbit my little rabbit stamp got didn't get as clear as I wanted it but that's what happens when you're making things by hand this one says somebody loves you and that bunny is me and here's another page with a sweet little bunny somebody loves you and it flips open and here's some creepy cloth that I've coffee dyed and tissue and things that I use to strengthen the pages. And Miss Tittle, uh, I can't remember her name. She's a Beatrix Potter character. So good night, dear one, and I do love you. And this is another little quote and fairy card. This is one of my favorites, these two little adorable bunnies. And um, I took Sorry Silk and sort of ruffled it up here. And uh, These buttons, I left the thread quite a bit longer for effect. And the little bunny sliding down the hill. And there's a little journal card in there. And another sweet little image. And back here is another bunny peeking out of the pocket on the back page. And here is the back with the three carol. Whoa, sorry, girls. The three carolers. And then right here is a little like, you know, old China has a Hallmark stamp. Well, that's my hallmark stamp. That's my little uh, trademark. And it looks like little wildflowers or little weeds. <laughs> but anyway, she's uh, available. First come, first serve. I do not... Um, I ship only in the United States. And um, you can private message me on my Facebook page or you can... Uh, find me in other 
journal groups and my books or you can just you know like I said private message me um, so thank you so much we'll see how this turns out thank you bye oops <laughs>